My fault, Mona. I'm so tired. I didn't sleep well last night. Mom! Those red marks on your neck! That's the mark of a vampire! Well, I guess the vampire who got me had only one fang. And speaking of fang, looks like he's been bitten too. And so have I. So it can't be a vampire, can it? It isn't even an it. It's them, as in fleas, a whole catful. Wow! Looks like the flea circus has come to town and put up their tent on Fang. A flea circus? What's that? I saw one at a carnival once. A little big top with fleas stuck to tiny trapezes and clown cars. Mr. Curry, we need to bring Fang in for an emergency flea dip. Thank you. I made an appointment at the cat groomer. While we're out of the house, we should set off some of those Neutron flea bombs I bought. No, don't. Those chemicals can cause weird side effects. I wonder. Those are some weird side effects. Don't worry. I'll bring home a natural flea remedy after my business seminar tonight. What are you doing? N nothing Just a little dance step I learned last night. Yeah, right. Like anyone ever dances with you. It's getting kind of warm in here. You are too weird for words. Ew! Miss Gatto, look at Mona! Mona, your ruler is not a back scratcher. I'm sorry, it's just I'm kind of itchy. You mean you have cooties? I do not! Oh my goodness, those bites! Mona, you have to go see the nurse. Oh, could this get any more humiliating? Please take care of whatever is biting your daughter. A note from the nurse? That does it. I'm getting out those flea bombs. But what about those weird chemicals that Mom warned us about? They could cause mutations or... Mom won't be back till late tonight. By then, those fleas will be history. Come on, everybody in the car. Glad you could take Fang, Mr. Curry. You're the only groomer we know bathes cats. Really? I wonder why. Well, I bet that took care of those fleas. Maybe, but there's no telling what mutations those chemicals unleashed. Sitting on us. Eating on us. Now we'll put our feet up on you. <laughs> well, the fumes are all gone. Maybe it'll be okay. But Mona the Vampire will keep an eye on things tonight.
Keep your eyes open for mutations. Ladybugs and germs, grubs and larvae of all ages, presenting the greatest flea circus on Earth! Dad was right. The flea circus has come to town. What's that? It sounds like a tiger. Or maybe a lion! Wow. Or maybe Dad. <gasps> Introducing a fearless human tamer! He will place his head in the very jaws of this vicious beast. <laughs> the one, the only, Clyde Bleaty! I knew it! All those chemicals created mutant fleas! Giant mutant fleas! Scratching at your door. Quick, hide in the car. Ah! <laughs> it was tough to stop fleas when they were small, but now they're indestructible. Nothing funny about these clowns. Hey, leave my cat alone. What? Mona? Everything okay? right away. Mona, you have an excellent one right in your spice rack. Garlic. Garlic? Really? Yep, it's true. Fleas can't stand the stuff. Ah! <laughs> Get back, or I'll use this. Use what? Paprika? No, this! Oh, wait, that's curry. Darn, that's pepper! Parsley, sage, rosemary, thyme. Garlic powder! Thanks, Fang! Ah! Not garlic! Anything but that! We shrink from it! Oh, have mercy! We will fix everything! <laughs> Now back where you belong. That goes for the rest of you. Get out, be gone, flee. Hi, Mom. 
Back from the seminar? Yep, and I brought a 100% organic flea pill for Fang. Garlic, right? How'd you know? <laughs> it's my favorite spice. <sighs> and for a vampire, that's saying a lot. Oh, how did it go? Come on! Yeah. They've got to be kidding. Yeah, it's too easy. Who would for sure? I wonder who came up with the idea. I see you kids got my memo about the teacher-student race. Are you participating in the race, Principal Shopley? Yep, it was my idea. I don't want to let the teachers down, so I've started training. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. What's he doing? I think he's shadow boxing. Why? It's supposed to sharpen the reflexes. I'm sorry about that, Principal Shobley. I think he's down for the count. Hang on, Fang, we're taking the shortcut. Very cool. We must hit at least two G's this time. Fang? Darn! <laughs> Principal Shobley, I thought you'd still be in the nurse's office. No, it was just a ding. I've never felt better, actually. Must be these new running shoes. I feel so light on my feet. Guess you'll be jogging home, too? his feet, huh? Something very strange has happened to Principal Shobley. Yeah, he's a changed man. He's taken up jogging and he organized the race. But more importantly, he's mentioned that he feels much lighter on his feet lately. Maybe he's lost weight. Trust me, he hasn't. The reason that he's lighter on his feet is that he doesn't have a shadow weighing him down anymore. Principal Shobley's shadow has detached itself from his body? What do we do? We hunt it down, reattach it, and restore Principal Shobley to his former, slower self. Okay, here's the plan. We find Principal Shobley, tie him up, and glue his shadow back onto him. Tie him up? We can't tie up the principal. You're right. I wouldn't want to get a detention and miss tonight's race. If we don't reattach a shadow before the race, the teachers are sure to win. That shadow is the only thing that can slow him down. There he is. Come on.
Did you lose something? No, but you did. Strange kid. If the shadow's not with him, where is it? It can't be far. Let's go search his office. Uh, can we do that? No, mashed potatoes, my favorite. Don't worry. I have a feeling he'll be in there a while. Coast is clear. The shadow's got to be in here somewhere. Aha! Did you find him? No, but I did find these. What are we supposed to do with his running shoes? Come on, I have an idea. It's got to be in here somewhere. Here it is. Super stick. It glues anything to everything. A shadow's worst nightmare. Is that your latest masterpiece for art class? <laughs> It's following Angela! Get her! No, it won't work. I can't keep up with him anymore. Please make him stop running. How did this happen? It's all the doctor's fault. He told us that we needed to lower our cholesterol, so we started jogging. But then he got these new running shoes, and next thing I knew, he's jogging day and night and organizing races. <laughs> you mean these? No! No, not the shoes! Don't worry. These shoes are gonna help you catch up to Principal Shubley and make sure that you stick to him like glue from now on. Ow! Ooh! Ah! Ow! Are you sure this is going to work? Trust me, I'm sure it's gonna work. We better hurry up. The race is about to begin. Ah! All right, give them back. Give what back? This silly little prank won't change my resolve. The race is on! I expect you all to be in attendance. I know I will, even without my missing shoes. Missing shoes? <laughs>
my shoes. I suddenly don't feel so light on my feet. Principal Shelby's going anywhere without a shadow anymore. He'll probably notice that he's not so quick on his feet either. Well, his shadow will have no problem keeping up to him now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. See ya. Hi, Mona. Dad. Thought you may be needing this. Thanks, Dad. So, how was your day? Uh, you know, same old thing. Reach home!